Okay, boys, uh, listen to this. So, um, so I'm sitting down yesterday, two days ago, at a barbecue. And uh, my nephew comes over. He says, uh, Uncle. I said, yeah, well, how can I help you? He says, I want to tell you something. I said, Chavot. He tells me like this. He says, you know, he's like uh, 17 years old. It's a great, great, great uh, Tvar Torah, he tells me. He says, there was once, and by the way, what I'm about to tell you, I saw it in a sefer called Ahavad Haim. Sefer Ahavad Haim. So it's a true mashal they bring down, but amazing. It says there was once a king. There was once a king. Um, and the, the rule, sorry, a town. There was a town, and the rule of the town was that any visitor that comes by, like you know, so you visit this, there's that, they take you, they dress you up to be the king. They take you automatically, like, like they knock you out. And before you know it, you're sitting on a throne in a palace. So what is this? Yeah, you, you're our king. Whatever you tell us, we're going to do. You serious? See, I'm serious. Whatever you tell us, we're going to do. So the guy gets up to be the king. Wow, amazing. He starts building a bigger palace. He starts building a crazy pool. He starts getting butlers, chefs. He starts getting like the, the cocktail. He starts getting everything. Everything that you can imagine, the guy's going all out. He starts making a roller coaster in his own uh, castle. You know what I'm saying? Sick. He has his own lake, jet skiing in his own lake in the backyard, you know? <laughs> everything. Okay, what happens after one year? The year is up. This, the king doesn't know. They knock him out again and they chuck him. Whatever, whatever, whatever nothing. That, boom, they just chuck him. You know, that, whatever. He wakes up one morning after the year is up. What have I was a king and this, that, that, what, what, what? He says, sorry, this is the rule of the town. A visitor comes in. We put him as king. He gets to do whatever he wants for one year. He rules over us. After he rules over us, we throw him out. That's it. This. It's like, what? Come on. You're kidding me. That's it. That's it. And year after year, they put a new king, put a new king, put a new king. Finally, one time, one, when they put this one guy and they threw him, this, this, that. He got, he got upset. He's like, what is this? They just throw me out like a chopped liver. He, t- he tells his friend. He said, this town is a wacky, crazy, naughty town. They're wild. You walk in there as a visitor, and what they do, they, 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 they put you as king for a year. But remember, if they put you a king every year, they, they throw you out, they chuck you. So he went in. Oh, they put him king, this, this, this. And he did the craziest thing. After one year, what did they do? They chuck him. So his friend sees him. What happened to you? He says, yeah, I was a king, this, that I got. He says, what did you do? And he said, this, this, this. Oh, my goodness, you didn't become useful as a king. What? I don't know what to do. Finally, told the third friend. Now the third friend comes in. And now he knows the whole drill. After one year, he's out. What does he do? They couldn't king the first day. What do you want, my dear uh, king? The whole town is, uh, whatever. I hear oh, the king. What do you want, my king? Everything you want. He says, listen, this town is beautiful. This town is set up beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What I want now is go to my town, and I need you to build a huge palace. Okay, you're the king, whatever you say. They go now to his town and they build a huge palace. They come back. What do you want now? I want you to build me a huge lake in the back. And this. Okay, in my town, your town, yeah. But what do you want now? He says, I want you to set up this, set up that. And they start building him. And in, in his town where he lives, an entire palace, castle, this, 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 this. Finally, the year is up. They knock out the king and they throw him back to his hometown. And where's his hometown? He has a castle right there. You get it? He was the only smart king that said, oh, I'm a king now. Let me go and let me take everything over here and tell him to build it in my town. Says the Rabotai, it's the same thing. Over here, we are all kings. But we are visitors in this earth we are visitors. We're like, Oreyach, you're a visitor over here. And Hashem tells you, you're going to be over here in charge. You have 120 years to live. 
Without, you could do whatever you like. Build whatever you want. The smart one says, wait, wait, one second. I'm a visitor here, but I'm going to be a permanent dweller there in Gan Eden, there in Olam Abba. So now a guy thinks to himself, hey, I'm only here one twice. I might as well invest my palace and my castle, and I might as well build my entire portfolio there. And therefore, a person has to always think, how am I going to go and build my Gan Eden? How am I going to build my Olam Abba? How? You know, people get caught up with the daily things, mundane things, where a person automatically forgets his main purpose of building what he's supposed to build. We have to serve Hashem in this world. We have to serve Him correctly. And, we have to, and Hashem wants us to build palaces for ourselves for the next world. The Mesilah Yeshurim opening paragraph, the opening page. A person has to know why you're here, why you're born. This is only a whole way to get to your main palace. And therefore, a person has to always focus and concentrate how he's going to build up his palace in the real world. This is fake. This goes in and out, boys. I was with my friend yesterday. You know, I see him. He starts getting gray hair in, in, in his head. I say, listen, you're getting older. How are you feeling? This, this, that. So he says, listen, I lived my life up until now. I was like, you're not so old. I'm like, yeah, I know. Things, the strength that I remember playing ball. When you were younger, 18, 19, you play ball, forget about it. Yeah, yeah, you have so much energy. You could, you could go to uh, game 21, 20, you could play uh, for five hours straight, three hours straight. Now go look. Go see a person in his 30s or 40s. Go see how long he can last in a basketball game. Go see. It's very hard. Why? Because his strength automatically, his strength meaning to say to, to go back and forth. He doesn't take care of his body. He could, uh, you hear what I'm trying to you hear what I'm, you hear what we're trying to say here today? Therefore, what are we trying to say? Our bodies are here, 120. Think about a guy who's 70, 80 years old. And he gets weakened. The person gets weaker. You understand what I'm trying to say or no? So what's the point we're bringing out? That invest wisely. Invest wisely. Of course, take care of yourselves over here. I told you, Hilel Azaken, he went, uh, he went one time, he stopped, he was going to take a shot. He says, Rabbi, we're learning. What are you doing? And he says, you're right. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course. But a person has to take care of his health. He has to take care of his body. Yeah, he has to. Uh, he eats all junk, 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 junk. Ah, in my stomach. Got to be careful with these things. But at the end of the day, focus where the real investment is. Sometimes people are in business. They are in business. And what do they do? They have a class. They miss the class because they want to make an extra few dollars. But you have a class. This is your whole, your, your whole world. You don't understand what one word of Torah is. You know, you know Rameir Shapiro? You know Chachmed Lublin? Rameir Shapiro. His mother one day started bawling, crying, 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 crying. She didn't stop. She didn't stop crying. She didn't stop crying. Looks at him. Says, Mommy, why are you crying? And Ramey Shapiro was very, very young. He was, he was a kid. He said, Ma, uh, his mother says, Because today I hired a Rebbe to come speak to, to you, special one-on-one, and I paid him top dollar, 300 rubles. I didn't pay him yet. But maybe I didn't offer him enough money. That's why he's not here. He said, Mommy, I'm sure tomorrow he'll come. Then she started crying even more. Said, My dear son, you know what one day of Torah lost is? You know what one day of Torah lost? And I believe from that story, he went ahead and he gave him the courage to do Daf Yomi. He was the one who created Daf Yomi. He said, one day, how could a person leave Torah one day? I want to make sure every single day there's Torah in the world. So therefore, I was doing Daf Yomi the whole world. And he got together with a bunch of rabbis. They all came in together. And they decided they're going to do Daf Yomi. And every rabbi uh, said, great idea, great idea, great idea. Until today, we have Daf Yomi. How many people, how many years, years and years and years? He invested wisely. He invested wisely. Take care of yourselves. But don't forget the Ikad in life. Don't forget the investment. Don't forget your palace. Build it. Build it the way you want it to be built.